This is a 24 hour variable speed pump schedule for uh, a system with two inch plumbing, approx approximately 25 feet of head resistance, about six PSI on the filter gauge when we're running at 3000 RPM, which will be the maximum for this particular um, filtration schedule we're building here. We're gonna do 12 hours at 900, eight hours at 1500, four hours at 3000 RPM. There's the, uh, the filtration totals, which will equal 51,120 gallons of filtered water every day, 5.1 kilowatts of power consumed at a nationwide average of 13 cents per kilowatt hour. That is 66 cents per day to run this filtration schedule for 51,000 gallons of filtered water. Let's go ahead and look at some of these numbers now. The first is 900, 900 RPM on this Hayward uh, super pump variable speed. You can see we're at 900 RPM already. 150 square foot cartridge filter. Let's take a look at our flow rates here. Let's do our two inch plumbing lines. Getting on average about 23 gallons per minute. Top right corner, just shy of 43 watts real time power consumption. That is a very small amount of power consumption for over 20 gallons per minute of flow. Let's go ahead and bump up the numbers here to 1500 RPM. Thirty-five gallons per minute. about 132, 133 watts of power consumption. And now 3000 RPM. Let's take a look at the filter pressure. about six seventy four gallons per minute eight hundred and seventy six real time wattage draw so again looking at these numbers here this is the power calculation for a total of 5.1 kilowatts over 24 hours. The nationwide average is 13 cents per kilowatt hour. And that's going to be about 66 cents per day, about 20 bucks per month, which is pretty impressive considering you're getting over 50,000 gallons a day of filtered water. And the lowest flow rate that you experience during the day is 23 gallons per minute. I do believe that's enough to close the flow switch on pretty much any salt water chlorination cell. So in theory, I mean, this would be a good, uh, good filtration schedule for a you know, smaller to medium sized pool that has a salt water system. But that's just one example. Every swimming pool is unique. And these numbers are just to kind of give you a relative bearing so that you can compare it to your situation. Let's go ahead and get started here. So we navigate to the timers menu. Pressing right is always how you proceed in, with, uh, with this pump in particular. So right would proceed, left would go back. So timer two, timer one. So let's go ahead and change timer one. We press the up button to make a change. It's asking us about the name. The name's fine with me, so we proceed here. At first, what we have here is 1200 RPM, but I wanna go ahead and dial that down. My schedule is going to have a period of time at 900 RPM. And I want to go with, I'm going to go with 6 a.m. to noon. And again, the right button proceeds. There we go. Seven days a week is what I'm looking to program. And there we go. That's timer one. Let's proceed to timer two, where we're going to make a change. Not the name, but the RPM value. And I'm going to dial that down to 3000. At the higher RPMs, it really burns a lot of power. 
And so the more that you can dial it down, the better in terms of cost savings on electricity. And we're going to go, as I said, for just an hour. So from noon until 1 p.m. Seven days a week. And there we go. Timer two. Timer three, we're going to make a change again. I'm going to change this RPM to 1500 RPM. And then we're going to run this from 1 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m., which as you can see, we've already got. So we proceed seven days a week again. Now, once again, what I want to do here is I want to put an hour at 3000 RPM. There we go. And this is perfect. It's already in here. From 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., we will have another hour at that 3000 RPM. Boom. Seven days per week. Timer four is done. Now, timer five, again, we want to make a change here. Timer 5 is where I'm going to go all the way back down to 900 RPM. And we're going to schedule 6 hours at this 900 RPM speed. There we go. Hit next. And I want to go from 10 PM to 4 AM in this case for 6 hours of operation, 7 days per week. That's timer five done. Moving along to the final one here. And we're going to adjust down to 3000 RPM again. And we're going to run from 3 AM until 6 AM. And there we go. That is our 24 hour dynamic schedule programmed in to this Hayward variable speed super pump. So you could have more timers if you wanted, seven and eight, or you could just hit the menu button and then you'll be here, press menu to exit, and this is very important, press plus to save our new program. The pump resets, saves the new program, and starts running with the new programming. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.